Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on Prosper software, a very good well modeling software. And today's topic is about intermittent gas lift. So it will be very, very interesting and hopefully useful for all of us. Okay, so as usual, we start by opening this tab. Okay, you can follow me, fluid description, fluid oil and water, method black oil and separator single stage separator no emulsion disable pvt warning water viscosity use default correlation viscosity model newtonian fluid and for the well flow type to being flow well type producer and for the method now you open the drop down menu and we will find this one gas lift continuous, this one, gas lift intermittent. Okay, and the type, gas lift. You can also type in the user information, user comments, and for the calculation type, this one offshore, model rough approximation. Okay, it's sufficient, range, full system, brain properties, default, type case hole, send control none, reservoir inflow type single branch, and no gas conning. Okay, click done. Okay, now we go to the second section. It's a PVT input data. This one. Okay, I have my data, you can use your own data or you can follow me. Solution GOR 800, SCF per STB, oil gravity 37, gas gravity 0 0.76, water salinity 23,000 ppm, no H2S, no CO2 and no nitrogen. For the bubble point RS and oil formation volume factor, we will use Glasso correlation. Oil viscosity correlation, we will use Bill et al. correlation. Other data, viscosity, viscosity model, Newtonian fluid. Hopefully, we can cover non-Newtonian fluid. Emulsion, no, no emulsion. Okay. If you have laboratory data to be matched, you can also use this data match, PVT matching, the pressure, GOR, BO oil formation volume factor and oil viscosity and the temperature and also the bubble point. And then you can press match button and obtain the matching. That is better. Okay. But in this case, we don't have that data and we can start by using this PVT data. Okay. So click cancel, click done. All right. So from here, we will go to IPR model section, okay, PI entry, I will use this one, PI entry, okay, and then for the reservoir pressure, it is 2000, reservoir temperature 210, water cut 80%, total GOR 800, automatically imputed by Prosper using the previous PVT data, no compaction permeability model and no relative permeability. And then we can use for the PI productivity index, let's say five, okay, five, calculate. I get the AOF maximum flow rate, 6,900, but I think I will choose Darcy instead. Okay, Darcy. All right, so for Darcy and the mechanical geometric skin, I will enter skin by hand. Okay, so for the model data, reservoir model, the permeability 50, the thickness of the reservoir 100 with drainage area of 500 acres. BHC factor 31.6, assuming radial reservoir and well bore radius 
0.354. With mechanical geometric skin, 1. Okay. And I don't enable Wong Clifford model. Okay. So far, so good. Calculate. All right. So this is the AOF maximum flow rate, 8,300. Plot results. I will plot rate for the x-axis and pressure for the y-axis. I don't need to plot the temperature. Click done. Okay, so this is my IPR, starting from the reservoir pressure of 2000 down to atmospheric pressure. This is the theoretical AOF, theoretical maximum flow rate. Okay, so far so good. And from here, we can click finish, done, done. All right, so this is our IPR. And you can see we have a new tab here. This is actually the tab for intermittent gas lift input data. But we can input the data here after using design section. Okay, later on, we will go to design section here. Okay. I skip this section first, and then I go to equipment data section. We will edit the efficient deviation survey, downhole equipment, geothermal gradient, and also maybe you want to check average heat capacities. Okay, click edit. Okay, so you can follow me. Measured depth through vertical depth. Okay. All right, 1,005, 1,000, okay, and then 4075 at 4,000, 7,700, 7,500, lastly, the depth of the reservoir, 9,000 for TVD. Okay, plot, we have deviated well, finish, click done. All right, so the next one is the downhole equipment, Christmas tree at 600 feet, and then tubing, open the drop down menu, down to 1000, 4.052, Tubing inside roughness as per default. Tubing outside diameter 4.8, quite big. Tubing inside or tubing outside roughness. Okay, so we have roughness for inside of the tubing and also outside of the tubing and also inside of the casing. All right, and in this case, I will use default roughness. And casing inside diameter 6.4, rate multiplier 1. And I will have subsurface safety valve with smaller diameter, 3.72. Tubing again, down to depth of 9,000 with the same size, all right, for the inside diameter, outside diameter, and also the casing ID. 6.4 and lastly i will have casing here down to the bottom of the well 9275 with casing inside diameter the same 6.4 default casing inside roughness and rate multiplier all one okay click done now for the geothermal gradient, this is important for heat transfer calculation. Overall heat transfer coefficient 8.6, okay, at zero depth, the temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit at the level of the wellhead 600. It is a bit cooler, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the depth of the reservoir, 210. You can check the plot. Okay, so we have linear trend here. 
Oke. Okay. Finish. Dan and you can check the average heat capacities used in Prosper for oil, gas and water. Oke, okay, klik done and you can check the summary. This is the equipment summary and draw down hole. Christmas tree, tubing showing the inside diameter, outside diameter and also the casing inside diameter 6.4 inches. And we have here the SSS fee, subsurface safety valve, tubing after the safety valve and casing all the way through from the top to the bottom. Okay, done. So far so good. All right, let's wait for the well picture. Okay, so this is our well. Okay, so from here we can go to this one design 